Did footage show that Jake Paul was knocked down technically by the rules of boxing? That's what I'm here to discuss in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego. Make sure you guys throw a like on this video. Now, Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley. I thought it was a fun card. I thought um, the crowd looked electric, brought out a very good crowd. The buildup was um, fun, entertaining. So it was just an entertain entertaining night of boxing. We did very good. Appreciate everyone who tuned in to the Boxing Ego Watch Party. But the idea of Jake Paul, was he knocked down? I felt I have to make this follow up video and let's jump right into it. Now, this is the thing with a fight like this. A fight like this, Jake Paul brings a different set of eyes. So there's people who don't really watch boxing on the reg and they try to argue with people. Tyron Woodley was robbed. You could say whatever if you thought he was robbed for the fight, it was a close fight. But he was robbed of a knockdown opportunity. That much is certain, right? And I posted this. Follow me at Boxing Ego One. I said, I don't give a uck what none of y'all talking about. Per the boxing rules, this is a 10 8 round and a blown call by the ref when the ropes hold you up. He looked like a fly getting caught in a spider web. How did the ref not see it? And I'll show you guys another vantage point. And T Wood didn't win no damn two rounds plus with the four round knockdown, blah, blah, blah. This was a close fight. So that's basically what we're getting at, right? This is absolutely per the rule set. It look at the crowd. This is the, the crowd. You see their faces, the look on their faces. I think that might be his dad. I don't know. I seen him in the ring. So I don't I don't really know. I don't know everything about the, the Paul family. But he looked, you know, highly concerned. This was a moment where his son was like, look, the ropes is holding him up and stuff like that. So you got a lot of people who are in denial it's cool to like whatever fighter you want but this is knockdowns a knockdown right this is him leaning and languish on the ropes and look how big the ropes look they look i don't know they look different tyron woodley absolutely got a knockdown in that particular round now you can say whatever you want would have made a difference so it's not even up for debate it really should have been ruled a knockdown 10-8 round and then you can argue what that would have meant. But look. Bow. Caught him. Oh. Look. And he's like arm wrapped around the ropes. He lost his balance, lost his footing. Was clearly caught with a good shot, right? Look. Do, do, do. In, bow. Ropes. You see the whole ropes wiggle. It's a knockdown. Any say what you want, it's a knockdown. Oh, let's try for slow mo, shall we? Smash the like button. Look, one, huh? Jake Paul trying to use his range. Look, he lunged. He backed up, hands down low, hand down, man down. And look, his arm, he tried to, oh, he tried to counter him, I guess. And he hit this counter, but then he still got a shot off. Ropes. Look at his arm, you, I mean, look, you see his arm around the ropes right there. Holding his balance. Now, you can question why didn't T Wood jump all over him at that given moment. You know what I mean? But he looks pretty poised and calm. And you see Jake Paul sticking his tongue out, trying to create some space. And he took a bit, you just see a big exhale. Then he punched. I don't know. So part of the rules that's a knockdown. More angles in case you doubt me. I mean, it's clear as day. No matter what you say, the ropes kept them up. Per the boxing rules, boom. Knockdown, an official knockdown is ruled when a boxer is punched and A, a part of his or her body other than his feet touch the canvas, such as their butt or glove, right? 
when a fighter is being held up by the ropes b when a fighter is being held up by the ropes i.e the fighter who had would have fallen if the ropes weren't there and he clearly you know got hit with the shot that was apparent lost his footing and the ropes are holding him up as i just declared and you've seen it was a look of concern that's logan paul close up so he was i guess taking pictures and you know he was concerned with it there's different angles of it that are available on the internet look i mean <laughs> It's clear as day. There's nothing. Listen, it's all the Jake Paul. This and this is what. This is the only thing about boxing. When you get a fight that entertains other people, that's fine. I, I don't have no issue with Jake Paul, Logan Paul, T. Wood. I'm just here to report the facts and what we've seen. I mean, there's no way you can tell me what you're seeing on screen is not a 10-8 round. So, per the rule, I mean, it said, look, B, when a fighter is being held up, by the ropes i.e the fighter would have fallen if the ropes weren't there if there is a picture of you and you look like i said earlier like a fly trapped in a spider web and then the spider's coming to get you then you would have failed so that's a 10-8 round now i'm not trying to split hairs you can say whoever you thought won won there were it's not like t wood he didn't fight a perfect fight he didn't fight a perfect fight um he was cautious, maybe even to a fault. So, yeah, he could have picked up his punch count. I think he needed a jab. That's something they definitely should have worked on. But people, when they're scoring boxing, you can't really look at those. You can't you can't look at what someone could have or should have done and not look at what was present. What was present in the fight is this. This is what we've seen. T. Woods, for whatever reason, he didn't. So you have to judge based on what Jake Paul did and what T. Wood did round by round by round by round. And it was only an eight rounder. There were no other moments like this. I never seen T. Wood uh, buzzed or clipped up. He just did an interview or a uh, live and his face looks clear. And Jake Paul is supposed to have heavy hands, look massively bigger than him. So you got to take all these things into consideration. T. Wood, he was cautious. He didn't let his hands go. We all seen that, you know, definitely the number one thing I was calling for in the Boxing Eagle watch party. Look, he didn't look like he ain't ever even gotten a fight, right? And the one thing um, I was calling for is a jab. So he, he definitely got to work on that. But again, you can say whatever you want, but you have to assess the fight based on what happened. Yeah, there's lots of, lots of things that both fighters could have done different. You know, Jake Paul could have not flew into the ropes. T. Wood could have upped his punch count, right? So you have to just go off of um, what both fighters did. This, I hopefully I prove in my case, this was absolutely a knockdown. And you got to look at the other thing is the judge scorecards were all over the place. This is a knockdown. I've already showed you how that how that is officially a knockdown, right? The ropes kept you up and you wrapped your arm around the ropes. I mean, it's a knockdown. And I'm trying to find a vantage point. The ref seen it because he was right there. So the referee, he's horrible. Look, I'm showing you, he's right there. So he has a perfect vantage point and he's seen what happened and he didn't rule it a knockdown. So that was a bad job. That's a bad look. That's a bad job on his behalf. And the people that are just, you know, not going to be realistic and they're like, oh, oh jake paul fans that's cool you could be a fan of whoever but you got to be fair be a fair fan and you know that was a 10-8 round it's that simple there's no argument there's no debate i've showed you how that's a 10-8 round now as far as you can't say oh you're crying when somebody was robbed of an opportunity in a particular round it's that simple rules are rules fair is fair right is right wrong is wrong right so the ref that was a blown call as far as the judges' scorecards, uh, they had T. Wood winning one, one, two rounds. He said, whoever said that, I'll beat your eh, right? And I, I posted the video on my uh, Instagram, so make sure you guys give it a follow, Boxing Ego 1. 
you know, it was an entertaining fight. This is the this is the clip where he said it. You know, he said, "Hold on." Did you feel like you got robbed tonight? I'm not gonna say robbed. It was a close fight. I did feel like I won. You know, um, whoever said I won um, two rounds, I will beat your ass. <laughs> See, so make sure you guys follow me. Uh, I credited the clip. Again, it's an entertaining night. You can say whatever you want, but the ropes kept him up. That's a knockdown. No matter what you say, everybody looks shook and scared at that given moment. And, um, you know, you got to be fair if you're going to be a, a boxing critic. That's all I'm here for. That's all I'm here for. Fairness. Say whatever you want. If you thought Jake Paul looked good, explain that in the comment section. But right is right. Wrong is wrong, et cetera. So hopefully I presented my case in case you felt I haven't. I mean, they literally said it in the Showtime telecast. So I know I'm right. And I know y'all wrong. Look, gets hit. Gets hit right there. Falls in the ropes. The rope, you can't argue that they didn't keep him up, right? Look, the ropes kept him up. And then listen, they say it in the telecast. Gets rocked, by Gets rocked by Woodley. He held on to the rope. He held on to the ropes. You heard it? Hold on. Held on to the rope. And he held on and now Wood. He said he held on to the ropes and he held on. Checkmate. 